everybody. It's your girl, Miss Giselle, and this is the Black Table Conversations with Miss Giselle. And today we have Mr. Alexander Mantis in the building. Uh, yes. you. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm so excited that you are here today with us. And guys, he is one of our top 12 artists of the month. So big yeah. ups to you because Blessings. you really earned that. We got a lot of entries for that. And I'm so glad that like your creativity, your uniqueness with your music, mm. that's what got you to, that's what got you to that point. Thank so, you. I, yeah. I can't thank you enough. Thank you. Seriously. No, absolutely. <laughs> no, thank you for your, art, your artistry. I'm telling you, it's amazing and it's necessary right now. So with all of that, let's just dive in. What got you into music? Like what was your, like what pulled you in? Um, oh gosh, it's such a loaded question. It's like, um, honestly, my love for music, my relationship with music um, has elevated and really like kind of evolved. I wasn't always in love with music. Um, my relationship with music started in honestly like a lot of hate. Because when I grew up, um, I was always singing. Um, I grew up in the church. So I was noticeably that boy in, in church that could sing. Um, and as we know in the church community anywhere, when you can sing, you know, you're gonna get you're gonna get picked, you're gonna get volunteered, you know. So I was always kind of volunteered for different engagements and things as a kid. Um, and I always looked at it like a job. I never understood why I had to sing. So my relationship with music was very not there up until I became an adult um, and I started going through um, you know some real hardships and that's when I really started delving into music for myself I always listened to gospel but when I became an adult I started looking at R&B and pop and I noticed something in me just kind of like flourished and now I just love music all around <laughs> well absolutely so you kind of used it like your therapy right yeah saying. you know it it became therapy for me um there's a lot of trauma associated with my art and I use my art to help people process through that trauma whether it be heartbreak whether it be abandonment whether it be loneliness um and I found that my relationship with music evolved into a place of service where I fell in love with being able to heal others with music same way I was able to heal myself so in a way it was self-therapy but then I identified if this is therapy for me, this could definitely be therapy for somebody else. So I started releasing it. I love it. And again, that is what attracted me to your sound. I was <laughs> like, you can see the uniqueness and you can see the passion. It's more so passion in your voice. And that is received by everybody. So Thank I you. know if you love it, somebody got to like it, right? Oh, I love it. God. I know it's... it's more people that love it. So <laughs> I'm so excited for your video that's going to air tonight. So let's uh, talk about um, your album and as well as your release that's happening tonight. Okay, so I feel like I wasn't fair to my fans because a lot of them think I'm dropping an album. And I'm not dropping an album. I'm dropping an EP. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys, I am what I am. And then in a few weeks, you guys will get the EP. Um, this song is so special to me. And the reason why I'm opening it with this song is because this EP is really just the representation of how much I have learned this year. Um, it's really about me. When I did my last album, I really did that for people. It expressed me but that really was genuinely intended for others. Like I really wanted other people to really listen to the lyrics and really receive that. But this last project, I'm being a little selfish. So I'm gonna give you guys the video and you guys are gonna love it and I'm excited. Um, but there will be an EP and it'll have, I think like five songs. I can't say too much, but you guys will really like it. I know you guys will be pleased. Oh, I'm so excited. So Thank when we get you. closer to that album release, we're going to do some, um, help you out with some of that uh, marketing for that series. Okay. Like that's going to be some big stuff because I'm excited. I love <laughs> independent artists. When you guys come out and you literally um, show your own talent and see you can be who you want to be. Mm. You're creating your own, your own look, your own image. 
And that is what music is all about. Your own sound matches that image and nobody else can be or replicate what you were born to create. Nobody can do that. So I'm <laughs> looking you. forward to the album. And the uh, fun thing, guys, today we actually are going to give you guys a sneak peek of the music video. So I'm excited about that. Uh, and with your EP, <laughs> with um, the EP, what made, um, I understand you said you wanted to go about doing this because you kind of want to do it more on a personal level. Mm -hmm. This is going to be probably something that's just fire. I feel like it's going to be fire. So tell, yeah. your, fans. <laughs> no, tell <laughs> your fans, like, what would you like them to do? Like, how can they pre, can they get a pre-release? Is there Oh my gosh. So I have like a shock value that I'm like in love with. Like, I love shock value. So there will be pre-orders for the album. Um, I may actually like sneak release it. My fans know that um, whenever I want them to kind of have something and I'm not supposed to give it to them yet, I'll drop it on certain platforms. And that's all I'm gonna say. So if you are a drill fan of Alexander Mantis, there is one platform that the EP will be released on prior to it being released on all platforms. If you can find it, it's yours. But that's my promise to my fans. I do leak at least one song on every album. I've done it all year. I love that. I love that. <laughs> what we're going to do, guys, we're going to have a quick commercial break. And we'll be back to have a bigger, deeper conversation with Mr. Manson. So stay thank tuned. You, thank you. When you think of your life, could it be a book? A lot of people have stories to tell, but they just don't know how to translate it to paper. This is why... I created Area Justice Media Group, LLC. At Area Justice Media Group, we are entertainment. Instead of a script, we write our own stories, use our own imagination, and entertain readers all around the world. My name is Elizabeth Roberts, and I'm an author and a book publisher. Not only do I publish books, but I make them come to life on the TV screen. I have had one of my books featured on The Real. I have worked with numerous of celebrities in the book and film industry. My book trailers slash short films are now available on Roku, Amazon TV, Apple TV, and more. I have had the pleasure of writing a two-hour feature film, and I have now helped over 30 authors get published with their books being distributed via Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Walmart, and more. In addition, I publish all genres, so nobody will be left out. In traditional publishing, you have to hire an editor, copywriter, formatter, and cover designer. At Area Justice Media Group, I am your one-stop shop from publishing to getting your book on the TV screen. Welcome to the group. And we are back, family. And today we have Mr. Alexander Mantis in the building. Hey, hey. <laughs> yes, we are <laughs> back. And we're just going to keep the conversation going. So how, saying that much, how do you feel about the current direction of the music? Like what's being pushed out in the music industry? Oh, it's troubling. Um, that's the first initial thought. It, it's it's troubling. Um, I remember growing up and remembering how refreshing it was to turn on the radio. Like, I look forward to getting on the bus going to school because I always was like, I'm going to hear something really nice, like, and different. Like, I'm going to hear a lot of diversity on the radio. Nowadays, I'm so upset because I see such a music is dying like it's it's degrading right before my eyes and i think what's really sad is seeing that a lot of really good talent and skill they're not putting in any of the work now when i turn on the radio i just hear the same generic sound it's like a universal sound that everybody kind of embodies because no one's like substance creating anymore like no one's creating out of a place of purpose and intent they're just like, this sounds good. This makes you dance. Let's release it. It's a hit. And we as a society just make it a hit because we deem that this was the most appropriate sound, but it doesn't mean anything. And that's kind of how I feel. When I think about music today, it's troubling. I have hope for music because there are some artists now that have surfaced that I think are just some of the most amazing writers I've ever seen. 
um, and they write from a real place. And I think those are the people that, you know, got to push a little bit harder to change the narrative of music right now, myself included. Um, but it's disheartening. It is. It's very disheartening. I agree. I completely agree. Mm -hmm. And because I agree, how can people get to you? What can they do to access you, your website, your YouTube, your IG? What's the best way to reach you? So um, on my main Instagram, you guys can go to my link. And when you click on my link, there's a website that takes you right to the Alexander Mansis website. Um, when you click into that website, you will actually be prompted to join my mailing list. And you can get exclusive texts and emails from my releases. Um, you can get this right off of my website at unitedmasters.com. So that's for anybody that wants it. And you guys can tune into my mailing list and I am pretty on top of the list. So you guys will hear from me. And guys, I'm also <laughs> going to include it in the bio of this video. So, well, I said, well, in the comment section of this <laughs> video, you will be able to look at the video and get his direct information. And not only that, we have a little competition coming up for you guys. So this weekend, all the way you have from Wednesday tonight, well, tonight, Tuesday night, Wednesday, really at midnight, you'll have from Wednesday at midnight through Saturday morning, we're going to do a live drawing for anyone who goes to Alexander Mantis page on YouTube. You have to like share and comment with the hashtag raise the frequency we're pushing that hashtag for alexander mantis's brand and that's what we're like that's just what we're going to do we and, are raising the vibration yeah yes, so everybody yep everyone's name will be added to um to the drawing and we will do a live drawing on ig live on saturday morning we're talking 10 a.m Eastern Standard Time, and it could, the winner could be you. I'm sure you could do something with $50 right before Christmas and Thanksgiving. So, you know, you got all those sales coming up and Thanksgiving <laughs> on, meal no. stuff to buy. <laughs> Black Friday. Come on, guys. <laughs> yes, we got to like, share, follow him also on YouTube and get his updates for, so that you can stay in line with his latest, um, his latest music and projects. Yes, also, please, tell him about your um the thing on your um website um the phone number which thing the phone number where they type in the phone number oh yeah yeah so when you put your phone number in if you put your phone number in not only do you get a text from me you get an email and it actually keeps you updated with anything i may even secretly like release so i'm gonna go there and keep you guys prompted that's gonna keep you guys really up to date if you guys really love my music and you want people to like get put onto it give them my mailing list too. Like give them my website, have them sign up and then I can start updating y'all together. And then boom, y'all have a whole little thing now where y'all all like my music and it just works. It just works. Yeah, so. <laughs> absolutely guys. So saying that, what would you like to leave with everyone? What would you like to leave everyone with? Um, oh gosh, I'm going to give y'all what I've been feeling like this month, like it's been on my heart so heavy. Honor everyone in the place they're in. Do not make it about yourself because it's not. One thing I'm starting to really see more than ever is life is not about being selfish at all. We have this narrative of self-love, but self-love doesn't start unless you self-accept. That's the seed. You can't just love thyself without knowing thyself. And once you know yourself, you're able to honor others because you start to see this has nothing to do with me. This has everything to do with them and what's happening around them. Once you get to that place, it's kind of hard for you to be selfish. It'll be really difficult because you can't help but look at people and just see where they are. So my advice, not to make this so complicated as a response, but honor people where they are when something rubs you the wrong way, just honor them. They may really be dealing with something that you have no idea about. You probably can't even handle what they're going through for like 10 minutes. So just honor people where they are because everyone's in a certain place 
No one's better than anybody on this planet. I just think we're all in a process and we're learning how to be human. And we need to respect everyone's process and learning because we all don't learn the same. But that's pretty much it. <laughs> and on that note, guys, that message was so received. I love, love, love your spirit. Bless you. Please Thank you. keep doing what you're doing. Like all of that energy continue to flow because people need it these days. They need it a long time ago. Like, Look, sorry, we're about to bring it to them now, right? <laughs> yes, because this it's like you ever heard that statement that earth is ghetto <laughs> let me tell you how much i resonate with this <laughs> like, like god knows i love your green earth god like i'm not i'm not coming at you it's just it's a lot going on down here right you got a lot of work to do <laughs> it's real hood out here okay? it's a lot of work to do. yes we got a lot of work to do but it's and all right we're, time, we're alive we're smiling so things are going to change and guys, we have a sneak peek performance by yours truly, Alexander Manson. Thank you so much. Can't thank you guys enough. Like, <laughs> mm -hmm. Moments alone, that's when I know me the most. Shots of the wisdom I need in my glass. I know I'm the one with the task. Uh, this temper, oh, oh, I'm keeping it under control. I know, oh my. So let me just stress this again. I'm feeling peace in my mind. Intricate moments, but I'm still alright. I feel like David when I'm with the lions. Am what I am, but I am what I am. I'm writing blessings and pen. This feeling I'm feeling, no, it never ends. I feel the strength holding my hand. And I am, but I am what I am. I'm beneficial. It's beneficial. Ma, there's better things I'm getting into. Ma, they look away. They are the issue Ma, i'm not the mag i am the issue didn't like that pumpkin spice i know that i know that it's my vibe i keep that flow on fly i be on salt and light let me just let me just season this right why am i like this Ooh, flow like that harvest moon Ooh, uh, let me just make some room oh why yeah, yeah. No, 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 why? Hey, I'm feeling peace in my mind. I'm feeling peace in my mind. No, why? I'm writing blessings and pain, strength holding my hand, and I am, but I am what I am. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, why? I'm feeling peace in my mind. I'm feeling peace in my mind. Yeah. This feeling I'm feeling, no, it never ends. I feel the strength holding my hand, and I am, but I am what I am. Intricate moments. Oh. <laughs> Am, but I am what I am. I'm writing blessings and pen. This feeling I'm feeling, no, it never ends. I feel the strain holding my head, and I am, but I am what I am. Mm -hmm. oh, I am what I am. Brother is one of our top 12 artists of the year, of the month, of the year too. But for the month of October, yes, 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 you earned every piece of that, okay? And on that note, guys, just love and reparations. That's fair it is.